Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Baruch Cyper again, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a search box in ASP.NET website. It'll uh, show us records based on uh, based on what we put in, into a search text box. This is upon a request of uh, uh, one of the viewers of my videos requested that I make a video showing how to make a search box. So here we go. So the first thing is first, I'm just gonna add a search box to two search boxes actually one is going to be for the first name and one is going to be for the last name and a search button so let me pause the video and add those uh, while I was gone um, while I paused the video I added uh, some text which says first name then I added the text box and I gave it an idea of txt student first some text oh last name that should be last name let's give a space here and a text box with an ID txt student last just to show you in the code behind uh, in the in the source code txt student last and I added a uh, a button with an ID btn search students uh, and the text is a uh, text value is search students now before we write any code for this um, what we need to do first there's many ways of doing it of course you could uh, pass an SQL query directly to uh, to this grid views data source and by the way for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about don't know what an XSD, XSD is or what a what a data source is I suggest you watch uh, my first four tutorials on how to make a uh, um, an ASP data uh, data driven database driven website uh, you can find that on my channel ASP today uh, but uh, for those of you who have gone uh, have gone through this tutorial, I'm going to go straight to the SXD that is set one, and we're gonna uh, add a query. We're gonna use an SQL statement, which is going to be a select. We're gonna have to modify this query just a little bit, like students ID first first name last name and teacher, and the we're clause we are going to have to add in and we're now going to introduce something called variables and variables uh, are uh, is something that could be gotten dynamically for example is where first name first name and usually you many times you would write equals but over here we're going to use a like statement and the syntax here is very important we're going to write we're going to single quote open up a single quote write a percentage sign which is a wild card, close the single quote and add a plus sign. Then we're gonna write at and create that's a variable already, which and this variable is gonna get filled up by our text box. I'm gonna write first name. And this could be anything you don't like as long as you remember. And we're gonna again double uh, single quotes and inside the single quotes we're gonna put a percentage sign and or last name like and again the wild cards. Which, are, which is the percentage sign at the beginning, like at, again, a variable, last name. And of course, I forgot the plus sign, excuse me, plus sign here and plus sign at the end here also. Now, this syntax is very important. And then again, a plus sign, space, plus sign, and then again, a wild card within, which is a percentage sign within single quotes. So we got, we are first name like, like is different than equals. It means it matches some of some of what we were putting in, not everything. So in, in a regular query, we would we would just write open up a single quote, uh, start a wild card, and type in let's say uh, Bush. That because a uh, Bob, for example, uh, George. That's one of the names I know. And then we would the query would return the the what we're looking for. But over here we're using variables because this could change based upon. Uh, what's going to be typed in at the text box. Now I'm going to give this method a uh, unique name uh, fill by first last click on next and uh, it uh, generated a select statement general fill method and generated the get method and we don't have any errors I'm gonna go ahead and click on finish. Before we go ahead and write code for this search button uh, we need to do one more thing, which is we need to rebuild the website. So uh, our code behind is going to be in sync with our 
SXD. We need to uh, add a new data object data source. Bar from the data object data source. We're just going to drop it right there, and we're going to configure this object data source. We're going to uh, pick our student stable adapter, and we're going to go and look for our get data by first last. We're going to pick that one. And the value and uh, first name is our first variable. And that's going to come from a control. And the control ID is, of course, student first text box. And the last name parameter is going to be a control as well. And is going to come from the stu text box students last. And we're going to click on finish. And I just want to give in, uh, a unique ID to this object data source. Uh, we're going to give it a unique ID search students and that's what we're going to name this object data source and now we could write some code for this button basically what this code is going to do is switch the data source of this grid view from the original da object data source which does not have any parameters in it to this data source which does have parameters in it so here we go Are you ready I'm going to double click on this search button again and first thing we're going to do is empty out the the student's uh, grid views uh, data source ID. And this is kind of funny, but you got to do it or else you get an adder, error. Excuse me. And data source ID is, has to be a string, and we're going to empty it out by giving an empty string value. The next thing is we're going to set the grid view ones, which is our student's grid view, a new data source, not ID, data source, equals object data source and we should be search students is the one that we're looking for and the next thing we do is grid grid view one dot data bind is to make sure that our new data is loaded and hit enter and we get those little mm, brackets at the end so parentheses excuse me so let's give this bad boy a run and see what happens Obviously, this is a test application, and you only see three students here. Uh, one is Steve Jobs, still Steve Woz, and Bill Gates. <clears throat> let's say we were. Uh, let's say this was a huge database, and there was paging involved, and we weren't able to see all the students and want to pick some out. And let's say we remember that the first name starts with an S, and the last name starts with a J. Either the first name starts with an S or the last name starts with a J, which means it gives me all the students that have the last name as, uh, as that starts with a J or any student that's whose uh, first name starts with an S. But let's say we're looking for students that their last name was J, started with J, and we get a single record, which is Steve Jobs. Thanks so much for watching, and if any of you have any other requests, uh, Please let me know in the comments below or shoot me a message.